Okay, so today we're going to be making some cyanide. Uh, as you can see, I'm geared up, protected from stuff. Now, what I've got here is a solution of uh, sodium hydroxide in water. So I just got 15 grams of sodium hydroxide in 200 milliliters of water, and I'm chilling it down. Now, the whole point of this is that I'm going to be cleaning up my cyanide, which I made uh, yes, two days ago. Uh, by reaction of uh, sodium carbonate with um, uh, potassium ferrocyanide. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, dissolving it in this uh, basic solution so that I can then get the particles of iron out so I can then try and make some silver plating solution. So, I mean, it's probably a bit of overkill with all the sodium hydroxide taking into account that this is already going to have a lot of um, carbonate contamination. Okay, so here I've got the cyanide. Now it's not very much, but um, I don't intend on making very much of this stuff, so I'm just gonna slowly add it in. Okay, so uh, in the end I added it all and I've been stirring for a while and this is just taking a sweet time to dissolve, but I guess that's just because it's cold and it's, well, it was probably quite a solid block because it just, it's solidified from being a molten salt, so that makes kind of sense, but just keep stirring and it does dissolve. Okay, so I'm just gonna be dissolving, I mean, filtering it by the classic, uh, you know, gravity filtration. Nothing too fancy, but it works, so hey. Now this stuff, I'm just going to keep it in a nice bath of bleach so that it doesn't annoy anyone. And it neutralizes all the uh, free cyanide, so that'll be good. So I've got my silver nitrate solution here over saturation because as you can see it's uh, crystallizing out so I'm gonna dilute that a bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna well basically what I want to do is I want to use half of it to react with the silver and then the other half to be as free cyanide so let's see okay so I'm gonna add some of this in here As you can see, I got some nice silver precipitate. I'm gonna keep adding, and hopefully, I'm gonna see if I can redissolve that. To be honest, I think I might need a bit more cyanide. Okay, so here's what I've been doing. I just got my silver solution, which has now turned black. I think it might have a bit of chlorine. Oh well, too bad. And yeah, just add it a bit dropwise in. Oops, it might have been a bit too much. And then I just stir until it dissolves. As you can see, after 30 seconds of stirring, it does all redissolve quite quickly. So that's a good sign. At first, it was taking quite a long time. I think maybe it was because the oxide was taking a bit of time to react with the cyanide because in such a basic solution is gonna it's gonna probably turn into silver oxide before it turns into silver cyanide which probably takes a bit more time to dissolve but I'm not sure maybe I'm just talking absolute garbage okay so I think I've, um, I'm gonna say that I've added enough silver nitrate to the solution I mean I only think I added about two grams of uh, cyanide to this taking into account I, don't, I didn't make very much and uh, I've added probably about one or two grams of uh, silver nitrate to the solution. So I think uh, that I'll do because I do want to have some extra cyanide. And I mean, if I keep adding this until none more, no more dissolves, then I've got no free cyanide. And that's kind of a bad idea. Okay, so now that this solution's done, I've still got a bit that won't dissolve, but I've had that ever since the beginning, so I'm just... Uh, questioning whether it's soluble or not so I'm just gonna ignore it I'm gonna get this away for storage okay that's good into the bucket neutralized and then we get our nice amateur stopper okay so now I'm gonna proceed to attempting to plate now I ain't got nothing too complicated so I'm just gonna try and plate this uh, chunk of silver now I haven't um, polished it up to perfection, but I've removed the old oxide layer and a bit of glue that I had there, so should be, just be a good test run. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by polishing the metal. So I got a solution of 20% hydrochloric acid, which will clean off any of the remaining oxides. And uh, then I'll just uh, wipe it off with a bit of tissue paper and then uh, get some rubbing alcohol in there to remove all the fats from my fingers. Okay, so just uh, grabbing this, dunking it quickly in there, give it a wee twirl. It's good enough. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to leave that there to dry off the alcohol. And I'm going to get suited up. Okay, so this hasn't started off yet, but you can already see that there is a little bit of a silver coating on the copper. That's probably just a redox reaction between the two. It's uh, pretty common. It's just like if you had a solution of silver nitrate. I'm not sure if this would continue on or if the silver layer would make it passivate, but anyway. So I've got here a nice um, 1.5 volt uh, battery. And uh, obviously I'm connecting the reducing side to the uh, copper, well the thing I want to plate onto. The positive side is the oxidizing side. And uh, so that's connected to my two small pieces of silver out back there. Okay, a very small, just two um, one gram things that I've connected up. So I'm making sure that only the bottom connects up because if copper is being oxidized, then I have a risk of uh, generating cyan uh, cyanogen gas, which I kind of don't want. It's quite an obvious silver layer. Question is if it's, um, is it, is it growing or is it just superficial? Uh-huh. If you look very, very closely to the silver, I'm pretty sure you can't see it on camera, at least not in this light, and if it doesn't focus, but there are very small bubbles being generated, so that's a good sign. Let's give a, a couple minutes. Okay, so uh, today's the next day, and as you can see, the, the outer coating that it's left is a very nice silver color. And just get to focus right it's uh if you look here let's see where i can show you here this area i had it inclined up initially for like 30 seconds and you can see that the thick that the silver color isn't quite as intense it's a bit darker and then the rest which i i just turned it around and it's gotten a nice thicker layer that's very nice and i've given this a uh, scrub with a uh, your classic uh, kitchen dish scrubber to see if it was uh, resistant because it also had a bit of a white strange coating and it, it does withstand those scratches and I've given it a wee scratch with a nail right about there I mean it doesn't it's probably not very thick because I only left it for like 10-15 uh, minutes and plus the current that was going through with that tiny battery is pathetic so I doubt this would withstand any uh, very much wear and tear but it, it, it is working, and I'm pretty sure if I used a better battery source, it'd be even better, so... Yeah, so... Cyanide solution, I mean, it wasn't very hard taking into account that I barely put in any work at all working with this. And I have to say that it's much better than a, a silver nitrate solution. Because the silver nitrate absolutely... Well, when I did it, it absolutely ate into the copper just uh, due to the redox reaction between the two. And it just made it absolutely coarse, the surface. And you had all these uh, crystal structures, so I wouldn't recommend plating with silver nitrate all that much, to be honest. But this one works nice, it's smooth, it uh, looks the part, and uh, well, I'll just be seeing how much it lasts.